My homie Blackjack, who's in here, showed me a technique in FL Studio, and I figured out how to do it in Ableton. What I'm gonna show you guys is some melody sauce. I'm gonna take a MIDI from Drums at Knock Volume 9. All right, let's use that. We're gonna move this one space over to the right. We're gonna highlight the empty space and the MIDI file, and then we're gonna hit Command J. So now we have one empty space and the entire MIDI file. Then we're gonna select all the MIDI notes, just hit Control or Command A, and then you see this bracket here on the right? You're gonna take it and drag it all the way over. So we're flipping the MIDI. Now, the first chord is last and the last chord is first. Let's hear it. It's just opposite. So now we're gonna erase this space at the end because we just added that in there so we could flip it. And now we're gonna freeze it and we're gonna flatten it. We just have what we just did in audio. Now we're gonna double click that, make sure we're in this view and we're gonna hit reverse. Check it out guys, look what we just did. We have that original melody chord progression and we have it reversed. Let's arpeggiate it and let's get another addictive keys. We have that same chord progression, but we add an arpeggiator. So now we're gonna do the same exact thing to the arpeggiated melody. Drag it over, Command J, flip it, highlight it, flip it, delete the end, freeze it, flatten it, reverse it. Crazy. That sounds completely different. Let's play these together. Sounds crazy. I mean, you guys get the idea. That's how you do that technique. So now I'm gonna take that same technique and show you how to do that in FL Studio. Let's get a different MIDI file this time. From Drums and Knock Volume 9, and we're just gonna drag it to an FL Studio channel track. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get Addictive Keys. And no, I'm not sponsored by Addictive Keys. I just, it's just a go-to for me. I just like it. Ah, uh, I like that. Turn it up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it. You're gonna go to the wrench and then you're gonna just click flip and then you're gonna hit accept. So it did the same thing we did in Ableton by dragging the MIDI and flipping it. We just did it by hitting flip. Now, what you're gonna do is go into your playlist, and if you don't have the pattern in yet, you're gonna click to make the pattern. Then you're gonna right click on the track, and you're gonna go to consolidate this track from track start. Make sure tail is set to cut remainder, and just hit start. That just printed the audio flipped. So now double click it, hit reverse, boom. Fire. I love that. Shout out to Blackjack for putting me onto that. Let's take that same MIDI, I guess arpeggiate it. We're gonna add some reverb to that too. Let's put a flanger on it too. Okay, and now we're gonna take that MIDI and we're gonna flip it. Same way we just did. Hit the wrench and hit flip. Except now we're gonna go to our pattern and you're gonna go consolidate from track start. Make sure it's set to cut remainder and hit start. Double click here and just hit reverse. Let's hear it back. Now with the other track. So we just took a MIDI file from Drums and Knock Volume 9, added an instrument to it, basically flipped the MIDI, printed it to audio and reversed it, and just got these really dope sounds from it. DK.